then all of a sudden they just swarm at you and you're like, oh my gosh, I hope I survive. <laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host the podcast across worlds and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are talking about this Steam Deck again. Last video I was talking about my first impressions. And then this one we're talking about five games I've been playing on the Steam Deck. Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. Go bananas with your favorite monkey gang in the ultimate Super Monkey Ball adventure. Roll through wondrous worlds as you race to stop monkey mad scientist Dr. Bad Boon. <laughs> from blowing up jungle island join the all-star monkey team as you bounce tilt and roll your way across hundreds of delightfully crafted levels and mazes and some monkey business for the gang as you take down dr baboon and steal back your beloved bananas features of this game are the ultimate super monkey ball experience more than 300 stages from Super Monkey Ball, Super Monkey Ball 2, and Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. Go bananas with 12 fun mini games, including monkey racing, monkey soccer, monkey bowling, monkey baseball, and much more. Challenge your friends as you compete for top banana on the online leaderboards. Immerse yourself in the Super Monkey Ball world with creative comic book style storytelling in story mode. That's the one I've been playing. And want to be the coolest monkey on the block? Customize your character and Super Monkey Ball to make it your own. I have not done that. I've just been doing story mode. Salt and Sacrifice, published by Stride PR. As a marked inquisitor, You'll journey through the western frontier, pursuing, hunting, and obliterating the mages that roam the realm. Craft unique weapons and armor from the otherworldly flesh and bones of the mages you destroy. This is like a side-scrolling hack-and-slash game where you really do need to pick up loot and go crafting. That way you can upgrade your equipment and skills. If you don't, ugh, you get yourself obliterated over and over and over again like i have but for some reason actually i do know the reason i'm really stubborn i keep going and it's quite addicting especially when i feel like i can totally overcome my challenges and then because of some careless mistakes i make it makes it harder but no i can do it i can go to the next level it is possible Salt and Sacrifice was a lot darker than I anticipated. I mean, yeah, it looks dark with the scheme and such, but Hollow Knight was a dark theme too, but it was kind of had a cute lightheartedness to it also. This one, it's kind of sad. I mean, I'm wondering if it's because it's like during that time where there is like the plague and there is inquisitors so they're using that whole medieval kind of like dark theme going on and kind of like an Elden ring you die in the beginning so <laughs> you died you got obliterated so that's a great start right and throughout the games you just have to kill others and loot off of them to make yourself better Stepping on the others. Yeah. Step on the dark side. <laughs> Vampire Survivors, published by Future Friends Games. Vampire Survivors is a time survival game with minimalistic gameplay and roguelike elements. It is a gothic horror casual game with roguelike elements where your choices can allow you to quickly snowball against the hundreds of monsters thrown at you. Features of this game are choose upgrades carefully and survive the night using only your wits. Unlock characters, levels, weapons, and more as you play. Evolve from a lone fighter into a mind-boggling, overpowered, magical demigod. And last, be the bullet hell. I actually like to be the magician. So at first, when I'm the magician, I like to have my magic projectiles protecting me and such and then once i collect 
the blue items, I can gain a new skill. And with that, I hope, I pray that I get the garlic because the garlic repels away the bats. And the bats are so easy to kill. Like at that one point when you get swarmed by the bats, I just hope I have the garlic. And just by being around me, they die already. And I just collect the blue items. And then I level up faster. Like, yeah, gain experience. Yeah, it's this one's pretty addicting too. It's one of those things where you have that instant gratification and you feel like you can make it survive and such and then all of a sudden they just swarm at you and you're like oh my god i hope i survive <laughs> teenage mutant ninja turtles shredder's revenge developed by tribute games published by dot emu and gamer games bash your way through gorgeous pixel art environments and slay tons of hellacious enemies with your favorite turtle each with his own skills and moves making each run unique. Choose a fighter. Use radical combos to defeat your opponent and experience intense combats loaded with breathtaking action and outrageous ninja abilities. Stay sharp as you face off against Shredder and his faithful Foot Clan alone. Or grab your best buds and play with up to six players simultaneously. Demon Turf. Published by Platonic Friends. Join Beebs. I believe this is for like Beebs above in her ambitious goal of taking over the demon turfs and becoming the demon queen herself. Jump, spin, and punch your way across the turfs with unique mechanics like momentum-driven combat and self-placed checkpoints. In this 3D platformer, the demon world is inhabited by all kinds of nasties, most of them lumped into gangs battling for dominion, each led by its own head honcho. Yet even these bad dudes are no match for the demon king himself. Instead, the task falls to Beeps, a young demon barely a thousand years old, who decides it's time for her to kick every turf leader's butt and become the demon queen herself. Features of this game are a unique aesthetic combining the expressiveness of 2D illustrations with the depth and sense of exploration 3D environments can offer. A world chock full of humor and style, from the music accompanied by the protagonist's rapping to the colorful characters inhabiting the world. A unique take on progression. Take a victory lap and explore previously beaten levels to discover their liberated state with plenty of mechanical and environmental changes to uncover. Or take some time off in the hub town, taking on side quests and other distinct challenges instead. And those were five games I've been playing on the Steam Deck. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a like. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to let us know what games you've been playing on the Steam Deck or what games you want to play and other things, don't forget to leave that in the comments below. We would love to hear your thoughts and such. If you want to hang out, I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. There I normally stream Monster Hunter and I also host podcasts across worlds where we're talking about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you guys like stuff like that, tune in. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this is the Superfina channel talking about five games I've been playing on the Steam Deck. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you on the next one. Laters!